the correlation between age and happiness is a smile. So zero to kind of 25 is beer, Star Wars, making out, prom, college football, or, you know, Premier League football. Zero to 25 is usually pretty happy. 25 to 45 is what I call the shit gets real years. You realize that distinct to what your parents or your uni told you, you're not going to have a fragrance named after you or be a member of parliament. You have kids, you have economic stress. Someone you love a great deal gets sick and dies. Your parents, right? Life gets very hard very fast, 25 to 45. And generally speaking, these are the least happy years. And then something wonderful happens, usually in your late 40s or early 50s, and that is you start recognizing the finite nature of life. Maybe you have some economic security. Maybe you've established relationships. Maybe you have these really wonderful things that are less awful, that look, smell, and feel like you called kids. You realize that life is short. And the happiest generation, the happiest age cohort, is the cohort that should be the least happy because they're not healthy is old people. So what the learning here is that if you wake up at 35 and you have a couple kids and you have a spouse or you have a job, and you think, shit, this is hard. I'm not that happy. Recognize that's part of the journey and just keep on keeping on. You know, happiness waits for you in most instances. Uh, so happiness is absolutely a smile. So I think it's helpful just to know that, that as you move into your income earning years, as you move into your mating and child rearing years and the depth of work and your parents start aging, it's stressful and it's hard. And if you're unhappy or feel unhappy at times, that is normal, that's part of the journey. And for me, it's, it was helpful to read that because I'm looking forward to all the happiness that's kind of coming my way and I can feel it as you get older. You just start finding joy in weird places. Uh -huh.